Hi guys, welcome back. Fishing tournament season is over and we're back to trying to fix up our power pole. So this is my second power pole and that's my power pole number three. I also bought another power pole for our project. We're going to be doing a uh, Hobie, uh, what was that called? Outback. Yeah, we want an Outback. It's just been sitting out in the shack for the last nine months pretty much. We're going to do a kayak build on that, so stay tuned for that kayak build. But anyhow, back to the main story. I have one. I bought a power pole, which is invisible. It's kind of over here. Say that's my original. So I bought a power pole. Exactly one year after I had it, it takes a poop. The motor just seized up on it. So I contacted power pole. Everything was registered, right? I had everything registered on it. Uh, last day, I email them, and they say, no problem, I'll ship you on a new one. So they shipped me a new one. That was this one. It came with everything. New remotes, new power lines, everything. And, um, all right, I'm thinking, cool. That was just a fluke. This one should be good. Exactly about one year after that, this one takes a poop. Uh, this one takes a poop because uh, what looks like these little guide rings that are on the ends uh, have fallen through and they've locked themselves up on the, uh, the drive that's in here. Oh, somewhere here. Although, actually, it's on the back. Okay, so I emailed him again because uh, I like to do things via email. So, you know, if anything goes south, you can say, Look, this is what you said, and this is what I said. All right, so send me an email. He's like, Hey, you know, I'd like to help you out. What's your address? Things like that. And I told him, Look, I have an account with you. Just look it up and see what you can do. So, I give him my name, address. He looks up. He goes, Look, pal. No problem, I'll send you a new one. So he sends me this one. But this time, this one comes out. And it's just the control unit. I don't know if it's remanufactured or if it's a new one. Because it kind of looks like it was remanufactured. I'm not exactly sure. But it looks good. It worked. So in the meantime, while this was getting here, I had a championship. I had to go fish. So I actually bought another power pole. So in my lifetime, I've had four power poles. With my brothers, that's five. So I have five micro power poles, okay? Uh, I don't know if they're like improving the design. Like in my video I did, well, it's not released yet, but the first half of this video, I was saying they need to put in some like stainless steel guides or something because this problem failed because of the uh, cheap rings, you know? Put in stainless steel guides, it'd be good. It'd, give you, it'd also be good for the, the saltwater guys. Uh, which may or may not be using them. But if I was a saltwater guy, I'd have one too. But I'd probably have this whole board like epoxied or something. Because uh, I don't know if that's going to take the abuse from saltwater. That and have this compartment completely sealed off. So that's that's the insides of the power pole, right? So they sent me a new one. Awesome. This, wasn't, this one, I think they only have like a one year warranty on it. So I don't know how their warranty works. I don't know if it's... The warranty covers from the original product or if every time they send you a new one the warranty continues like to you know reset or something but anyways i got this one replaced with that one they sent me a box with some labels on it. i gotta i gotta put this one back and send it back to them but like i said you know i, I don't know why power poles fail every year for me i mean some people will say i abuse them i don't know you fish uh i typically fish twice a week power poles always on it I don't take the power pole off the kayak. The kayak sits on the trailer, and this power pole unit sits on the back of the kayak all the time. I never take it off. Uh, the, po the power pole's in it every time. I just lean it forward, and it sits on top of my Hobie uh, Vantage seat, and that's it. That's how I transport it on the back of the seat. So, unless if I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. My luck's just been pretty bad with the power poles, but uh, then again, my luck is due to the warranty that being so awesome. Uh, been able to get them replaced so I have to send these back and I'll uh, and uh, we're gonna build another uh, tournament grade kayak too so stick around for that we'll build that and uh, so you guys can have some idea of what we like on our kayaks all right guys okay <laughs> let me just zoom in on this this is for mainly for the power pole guys at the factory but here's a 
quick rundown of what I think happened. Uh, like I said, there's two little, like, uh, what looks like uh, rings here that sit here, I think. Could be wrong, but these have thinned out due to a lot of use and through to maybe just a lot of sand grinding on. I fish a lot of uh, sandy bottoms, things like that. And this is another area of concern. Uh, this edge right here is not flat. It's kind of concave a little bit. Maybe you want a flat edge or something more like this where it's like that around here because as you can see, I'm getting a lot of dirt built up inside the the internals, which is real bad. And as you can see, that little screw is already rusty. Uh, so they gotta do a better job at sealing that. As you can see, this is the electronics board. And it looks like it's pretty clean, but like I said, if I was power pole, I'd probably pot this whole thing. Figure out a way to just pot it all and just have leads come out of it. That way it's uh, it's easier and it's probably more salt water proof. Like I said, I don't know if there's any conformal coating on this. It just doesn't look like it. But just to make it more, you know, weatherproof because for me, I'm a tournament angler, so I fish in all conditions. Snowing, I still fish. 110 degrees, we still fish. Taking water over the bow, taking water over the power pole, we still fish. So, uh, for if you're gonna build a, I mean, this is what I look at when I, when I think of your company, I think of tournament equipment. Okay, so this to me, the being honest, it's a little under, you know, tournament quality. I think it's weekend warrior grade. It's not tournament grade. So please fix that. This is constructive criticism. And label it version two or something when, it, when, the, when all these bugs are fixed. Because otherwise, I think I'm gonna be emailing you guys again in a year to replace this one if it's built the same. I'm not gonna take this one apart, but just from this one, I mean, I'll keep the flash the serial number of, if y'all want to see it. That's the serial number. Okay, so that's all I got for now. Hopefully they fix that. I think as a community, the kayak scene is just booming right now. You guys will probably sell thousands of these because of my videos. Okay, so. And on top of that, uh, there's no other option out there. You're the only supplier of the power pole. You know, talents don't build these, so make these right, and you guys, you guys will keep us as low customers forever. So, please do that for us. 600 bucks a piece, it's no joke. We want this equipment to be bomb proof, all right? Okay, so if I'm having this much issues with it, why do I keep on buying these products? That's actually a good question, you know. Well, the thing is, uh, what you don't understand about this is this is a, one of those essential tools if you're fishing kayaks, if you're a kayak uh, tournament angler. If you can afford it, it will change your life, okay? If you can't afford it, you don't know what you're missing out on. Of course, you could drop an anchor, you could drop a spike and stuff like that. But that gets old real fast. It's just, it's just like uh, putting your kayak on top of your car. Anybody can do it, but it just gets old real fast. And then, uh, on top of that, if you're dropping anchors and things like poles and stuff like that, a lot of time it just gets in the way. Uh, it doesn't make the fishing very enjoyable. And a lot of times you want to be as stealthy as possible. So if you're dropping like a three to 10 pound anchor down, I think it scares a lot of fish away. And on top of that, if you're fishing like grass areas, every time you drop uh, a weight down, pull the weight back up, it t literally tears a whole bunch of grass up. So I think that's very uh, distracting to the environment. So power pole, a little stick goes down, stick comes back, back up and that's, it keeps everything quiet. And on top of that, launching. Uh, launching, unlaunching, that's probably when you, you will use your power pole the most. Uh, and so instead of pulling your kayak all the way out of the water and scratching the entire hole, you just nose up on the bank. He nose, nose on the bank, power pole goes down, it keeps the hole clean. So for all the people that are paranoid about, you know, scratching up the hole, power pole is the way to go also. So there's a lot of little things, and then, but the thing is, okay, in the wind is where I think for as a kayak angler, in the last three years I've had one of these, 
is where uh, you it really excels is in the wind. So if you're fishing five foot or less in the wind, power pole down, it'll hold you. It'll hold you to the point where you won't go into the pads, you won't go into your area. And on top of that, when you catch a fish, okay, when you catch a fish, power pole down, and take a picture of your fish, and then release the fish, okay. Without it, you might drop an anchor, or you might actually float into the bank. That's not cool if it's blowing like 22 miles an hour. So you might, it's, it could it could get dangerous too. By the way, if it's if it's blowing that hard, but uh, there's a lot of uses of power pole. You, know, you can, I also use it kind of like a small drift sock. So if power pole goes down, you know, wind blows you. It acts somewhat similar to a drift sock. Uh, so there's a lot of those things that come into play. And on top of that, if you're on a good spot, you don't want to move. Um, power pole just holds you, you know, in up and down in like five seconds. Whereas you don't have to, you don't have to reel your um, your um, your your line. Like a lot, of you have to. There's a like line management is what I call it, and it gets frustrating sometimes because you already have a lot of gear. So then you want to pull up a lot of line. I know there's the crank systems that you can crank your anchor, but those are pretty loud too, and that just kind of spoils the. Uh, the surprise attack on the fish so that's the main reason why i keep on running power poles sometimes i wish there was a, co a competitor out there sometimes i wish there was like a talent or something option as well too but um so far we you know in the kayak world this is the only option someone needs to come out with one another option at maybe 300 that would be like awesome so anyways you know that's my three-year review on the power poles i've had it's been three years. I've had three three power poles, and I'm on. Yeah, we're going number three. So three years, three power poles, three awesome services from the company. I hope that continues. I hope uh, they I hope they improve their products. I've already given them some recommendations. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they uh, you know take take up that idea. Fingers crossed. Anyways, uh, sub to the channel uh, if you like this review and give me a thumbs up. And uh, see you guys out there. If you ain't fishing, you ain't living. All right, guys. See ya. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching, but stop freeloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you guys on the next one.